greetings of the day i am dr renu today my session is on recruitment and selection the main objective of this session is to inform you that what is actually recruitment how we it is possible to recruit or to employ the skill ability and the knowledge in your organization as well as out of the number of the applicants how it is possible to select the best applicant the outcome of this session would be let you know have a clarity about the both aspects along with the understanding of the external as well as the external as well as the internal sources of recruitment and the selection process which is adopted by the different sort of the organizations recruitment the process of acquiring the applicants who are available qualified to fill the positions in the organization it is not directly to select the right person for the right job but is to find out the best applicant out of the number of the applicants while making a call of the vacant position let the number of people to apply for that position and then you identify who is the best while taking that applicant in the different procedures in the chronological procedures it is just creating an information about the vacant position every organization has the option of choosing the right person right skill right knowledge right ability for the particular position for that purpose we identified the two sources that is internal source and the external source the word internal itself explains you internal within the organization external outside the organization internal from your employee referrals from those employees who are already employed in your organization through them you can get the resource you can get the information you can get the hiring there is a linking of the role of recruitment and selection how it is it is very important to identify in the organization structure we have the external labor market full of skill knowledge and ability need is to identify out of that lot of skill that group of skill and knowledge out of that hub it is very important to select the particular that skill which is required and is suitable to your organization by way of the recruitment practices the process which involves the environment the environment which includes social legal economical political factors which affects on the human resource planning on the basis of that only the planning of an organizational human resource is based which is totally changed if the change in the technology accordingly the change in the system of the organization you may take the example of banking sector you may take the example of the insurance sector where the intervention of the technology in 90s affect on the employees it affects it leads to strikes it it leads to lockouts and but still on the basis of that the resistance on the basis of that they were imparted the new skill new training that is it savvy even in the covid period you will identify the number of people are fired because of lack of knowledge of it skill the it intervention as you find the it revamps in the education sector in manufacturing sector in banking sector for example your robotex in icici in safety of your locker system the robotex are used the whole branch is now in control of kisco system so you may have n number of examples in selling in marketing in banking in service sector if you go to your airport or to 
your bus stands you will find the robotic system of selling shops where there is no need of hiring any employee only on the basis of that machine you will put the money and get the ingredient or the article which you are looking for so in this way the environment effects on the basis of that the job requirements are changed now and on the basis of that it will change and in this whole process the internal source as well as the external source plays a very important role which leads to a good pool or a database of the recruits sources sources either internal in the terms of transfer promotion upgrading demotion retired employees and so on external through newspapers through advertisements through websites through web portals through your contractors through employment exchange there are many agencies also who are very well famed well recognized involved in this process though this internal source is a cheapest source the reasonable source to recruit or to hire the employee but on the another side it is found that the source this source has number of disadvantages which we will discuss in the next slide but in this let us find out the benefits of the internal candidates if we hire we they are already uh, aware of the organization goals vision mission no need to impart them good trainings more trainings we are already aware of their strengths and weaknesses they are already skilled with that particular skill not having a new skill no new breed no new blood in that skill is there their loyalty was already identified so no need to uh, find any sort of a competency in him or her on the basis of this the internal sources like job postings like your rehiring of the former employee the, the retired employee then is uh, his totally related to the old knowledge in a new bottle but the disadvantages is total wastage of time the need of an hour will not be fulfilled because of the old employee now let me give you a glimpse on the external sources advertisements effective advertisement in the form of uh, the use of the ad attention interest desire and action provides you positive result from the job market campus recruitments where the new breed can be possible a new pool of the applicants will be possible with the new talent new skill on site visits referrals of the employees a very cost effective method very speed up method and new technology can be entertained walk ins and many more no doubt we can't refuse that the internet source the best source of getting the applicants getting the good response and definitely getting uh, the new technologies new skills as per the competence of the environment advantages no doubt in case of internal recruitment it increases the morale knowledge of records promotions satisfaction increase in the worth of the organization whereas in case of external new applicant new ideas more and more interventions but on the another side as i told you previously in the previous slide that the internal recruitment has certain disadvantages the problem is the disadvantages they generate the unhealthy competition problem is the morale problem so these problems used to be found in 
different organizations now selection selecting the right person for the right job at right place best skill best ability best knowledge the framework moves in this way that moves from the that it this pyramid indicates you it moves from down to up whatever is the organization goal on the basis of that the job is designed from job design job success criteria faced then specify the job job specification is skill ability knowledge qualification education whatever is required and experience then is your selection instruments steps in the selection process are firstly we go for initial screening screening of the applications right if it is yes then it is good if it is no then in the bin then out of that if it is yes then application blank is given to the candidate he or she is supposed to fill and uh, then he or she will be called for pre employment testing if not then go in the bin once the person is called for pre employment test then he or she is called for if a clears that test then called for interview right panel interview group interview or any sort of an interview if in the interview pass then proceed for the reference check if failed in the interview then the person is rejected the person is rejected and the application is in the bin after that the person is called for uh, once the reference check is done then the medical examination is taken place and then after the medical examination if it is okay if it is done and if it is okay no problems are there then the job offer will be given to the applicant and then the person become the employee of the organization otherwise it is rejected so thank you for this listen uh, for listening this session very patiently i hope you will under you understand the session aspects the most important points which are really beneficial not only to bba bcom for to the bachelor degree of the hotel management to the vocational courses people or to the btech people but also to the masters degree uh, people who are not from the background of business management or commerce in case of any suggestion or any need of new session on any topic please let me know for uh, this uh, any new session please like and subscribe my session thank you